Welcome to Blog Talk Radio in high fidelity. Jimmy Mack is a renowned medical intuitive and spiritual life coach who has taken, completed, and even mastered a variety of healing modalities. After a near-death experience, he was shown and developed a simpler way to create healing and profound changes, now known as My Liquid Fish. He works with clients in person, on the phone, and over Skype worldwide, accessing energetic powers and co-creating changes that you can actually feel. Call in now to reserve your spot on the switchboard. The call-in number is 713-955-0594. Press 1 if you would like to ask Jimmy Mac a question. Enjoy this one hour of profound healing. Hey everybody, it's Jimmy Mack coming to you live with another transmission and download of the Jimmy Mack Healing Show. We're glad you all are here, and uh, we always make every effort to mix it up, make it interesting, and I always enjoy having a co-guest, co-host on the show with me every week. I do, of course, the medical intuitive, more stuff, spiritual life coaching, that sort of thing, and then I like to have a lot of variety of different co-hosts with us so that uh, we can hopefully answer your questions from spirit, uh, by all means, stick with one. Uh, Everybody has a dozen things they'd like to change, but during the radio show, let's grab one that sticks out the most towards you uh, and is at least coming to the forefront, and we'll work on that for you. Join us here every week, 12 noon. Uh, It's EST, of course, Eastern Standard Time, Jimmy Mack Healing Show, and we appreciate everybody listening and always tuning in and raising their hands. We love it. you got to press 1 if you want to uh, have your question answered live. It's 713 is the area code 955-0594. So for those of you that are live on the computer or the phone, uh, welcome. We're happy to have you here today. We always try and make it uh, interesting and fun. Next week, uh, we'll have on again, of course, our Reverend uh, Debbie Dean Spear who is a trans medium, communication with the dead. So it's always profoundly interesting to me when she'll talk to me about things from uh, my dad or my brother, who are both real characters in spirit. She's told me things that nobody else on the planet could possibly know. So, you know, it's uh, it's always amazing to me. So that's really generally our most popular show, Tuesday of the month. 12 noon, join us live when Reverend Debbie Dean Spear will be here to communicate with your loved ones. A lot of stuff coming up, of course, every week. If you'd like to see me in the Tampa Bay area, I am at KotawariYoga.com, and uh, that's in South Tampa, and that schedules 9 a.m. to 1.15 p.m. every Wednesday. It generally sells out. It's not bragging if it's true. So you definitely want to get in touch with them. Again, it's Kodawari yoga.com and you can reach out to them and get on my schedule over there it's 15 minute sessions and 30 minute sessions only and uh, of course we do phone 48 states and skype and zoom around the world so it's never a dull moment a lot of good stuff coming up also uh, this sunday at 12 30 i'll be at the unitarian universalist church doing the jimmy mack show live um, and that's uh, me standing on the stage of course and talking about what we do and how we get there and uh, doing My Liquid Fish, Change Made Simple, and showing folks how to do that, bringing people up on stage as quickly as possible. I go out of my way to not make it about me. (laughs) My mother used to say, I'd rather be pecked to death by a chicken than stand before you here today. And when there's hundreds and hundreds of people, um, it gets dicey. But, you know, the message is so big, I have to get it out there. And this is part of our service today, of course, is... uh, bringing this radio show to you. It's about benevolence and loving kindness. Truly, uh, this is what we do, and this is the giveaway for everyone. 
So speaking away, the, the giveaway, speaking of that, for the giveaway for everyone, uh, today's guest I've already met live in person. I was at the Dowsing, Florida Dowsing Group at Unity last Wednesday and actually met uh, what my mother called this tall drink of water um, live and in person. So we're excited to have her, her here today, and that's Donna Blevins. And Donna Blevins uh, really brings it down to earth, humorous touch to speaking and writing from her roots in the Appalachian Mountains of Virginia. We'll talk more about that because my mother is from the great state of Virginia, or as they like to call it, the Commonwealth of Virginia. So, And uh, Donna grew up even in the coal mining camp. That's incredible. And uh, she towers at over six feet, five inches tall. That's amazing. And she's an entrepreneur, of course, with careers in modeling, acting, marketing, advertising, real estate, professional speaking, training, journalism, and gaming in both business and life. She's lost and won, of course, like all of us. And admittedly, it's more fun to win, of course. So she's going to share some of her stories today and turning losses into wins by accessing the wisdom within those mistakes. She's, of course, dedicated to her vision of universal prosperity and gives back as a board member of the nonprofit United World Healing. So we'll touch on that today as well. And, of course, take your calls. So as a life student committed to philosophy that is now always, her philosophy really is it's always the right time to learn. She went back to school at 58 and got her doctorate. And you can find out more at http forward slash forward slash mindshiftondemand.com. Donna, welcome to the show. How are you today? Oh, Jimmy Mac, I am absolutely fabulous and thrilled to be here. Well, we're glad you are here. And you came through my dear little friend Ginger, so i got to have a shout out and say thank you to Ginger for making me aware of you. Well, I want to thank Ginger because I believe that there are no coincidences in life and you ask a right. question silently. I said, am I supposed to, you know, do a local platform? You know, am I supposed to get out there and do, you know, book signings? And I met her and she saw a postcard about my book. She grabbed it out of my hand and she said, I want Mind Shift On Demand and I want it now. And I said, well, I have, I I have one left from the from the shipment, and she said, well, go get to the car and get it. I did, and she said, you have to come to the flea market. And I said, to the flea market to do a book signing? She said, sure. And it's been eye-opening to see what a broad range of people are open to the concept of mind shifting, how to shift your mindset on a dime. Mm -hmm. Very cool, very cool. Tell folks how to get a hold of you, and I want to touch more on you from the Commonwealth of Virginia, um, but tell me about growing up, gosh, in the coal mining era. Uh, my mother would uh, grew up with a huge family and um, was really like Erston Caldwell's The Tobacco Road novel, if you can imagine that, the new depths of poverty, and they grew up as uh, sharecroppers. So my mother's always sweet and loving and kind, and it's just so blessed and thankful for any little thing and you know if you grow up like that you know why absolutely and i had no idea that we were poor <laughs> dream that. i had no idea you know I, right. I didn't know that we were lower socioeconomic class i i had no mm -hmm. knowledge of that i loved my life i loved where i was it was in the mountains of virginia in the southwestern corner and, you know, people say, how did you get so tall? And I said, well, you know, we were in the in this valley. The coal mining camp was in a valley, and the sun hit the top of the roof at, at 10 a.m., and it was gone by 3. So I guess it was my attempt to reach up and reach for the sun. <laughs> wow. I love it. And love it, it. Was, it was a great place to grow up because it was down to earth. Um, in the coal mining camps in the 50s, and you can do the math if you like, in the 50s, sure. um, the tuberculosis actually was spread by this this coal dust. And I had tuberculosis when I was six. And <laughs> you may be unaware uh, of this, Jimmy, but 
tuberculosis stunts your growth. <laughs> wow. So you would have been seven foot five if it hadn't been for tuberculosis. <laughs> well, in 1950... <laughs> Yeah, breathing becomes more important. Believe me, that was my near-death experience, too, because they took my gallbladder out where they about killed me. They gave me too much anesthesia. So breathing is uh, is really important to me now. So I get it. Well, it is. And when they did a biopsy in 1955 uh, on the tuberculosis, they ended up taking out one of my lungs because it was so close to my heart. And uh. my heart stopped. And I was gone for six minutes. And when your your heart stops for more than four minutes, they're convinced that you have brain damage. Mm-hmm. And I, you know, they say it's a near death experience, Jimmy. But as far as I'm concerned, it was there was nothing near about it because I was there. I mm-hmm. was in the light and in a place that was so beautiful. It was Love so it. joyful. And I was no longer six. Yeah, I, was, I tell everybody you don't want to come back. That's for sure. So. Yeah, I was I was like 143 or something. It was like I was able to tap into this great universal library in the sky. Love that. And when Love I that. came back, I didn't talk because they thought I was brain damaged. But it was close to two weeks before I started to talk because I knew that they would probably put me into a a, a state mental hospital because in those days. If you talked about stuff like that, they were convinced that you were crazy. Of course. And yeah. I, and now it's I everywhere. Was aware. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Love it. Well, tell me, uh, tell folks how to get a hold of you, honey, in the website address. And also, I want to explore at some point today the gambling part, too, and, uh, and, and cards and whatnot. I find that fascinating. So. Well, the the site the primary site for the book is mindshiftondemand.com mindshiftondemand.com and on that page there's a link to the book which is on Amazon which is by the way it reached number 1 hot new releases in sports psychology in 3 days without ever doing any special promotion so i recommend wow. doing what i'm supposed to do yeah, no doubt, because normally people would have to pay heavy money to get it that high. So that's a dream, just that you did that, honey. It was it was wonderful. And for people to reach me, the best way to do is for them to follow me on Twitter or on Facebook. And since I am 6'5", they've oftentimes said that big girl. So big girl poker. My Twitter Love handle that. is big girl poker. And on Facebook, if you do facebook.com forward slash big girl poker, then that will bring you to my to my page and that's love it that's probably the best way to get a hold of me because i can respond relatively quickly um Perfect. i connect well that way so what part Sounds do you want to go to next jimmy oh we're going to take a live caller and uh we're going to work on some folks and see what comes up but i definitely want to talk about uh not just your book and and what you're doing but also the the gambling part the poker part if you will but we'll take a caller 818 carolyn Hi, Carolyn. Welcome to the show. How are you? Hi, I'm doing fine. Hello. Good. How are both of you today? I was Good, just thank pondering you. What, what, yeah, I was just pondering what question to ask. But, sure, you have uh, a question for Donna? Well, I know I'm going to need to buy her book, but I want to know how do I shift my mindset? Thank you for asking that, Carolyn. How do you shift your mindset? So, yeah. Well-timed question. It's perfect because the way we shift our mindset is the words that we choose. The words we choose set ourselves up for either success or failure. Our biggest problem is that we are our own worst enemy because we say things to us that are counterproductive. We are our own judgmental monster. So the way that you shift your mindset is change the way you think. Something as simple as if something is bothering you, simply take a moment, imagine that you're looking at that thing, close your eyes and ask it to show itself. Forgive yourself for having the feelings that you have. Then look at it in your mind's eye. If it's a person, if it's if it's something that's difficult to see, then give it a name. 
and look at that word and notice it and step back from that in your mind's eye one step. And as you do that, what happens is it is now beginning to be finite, no longer around you and totally encompassing you. Whatever is on your mind that is challenging, that's bothering you, that's stressing you, that's anxious, it now is becoming finite and it is moving away from you. Step back one step, notice it and say, hmm, isn't that interesting? In that moment, you have detached from fueling it. You're no longer fueling it, and it begins to even move further away from you. You simply open your eyes, look up and to the right, pivot your body 45 degrees to the right, and ask, where would I rather be? And then let it go. You've given your subconscious mind a question that you ask in a way that it can start to answer it so that it helps to rewrite your code. It's like a code modifier that you download to your subconscious mind. Now you, mm-hmm. you literally will start to feel better in a moment. What do you think okay. about that, Jimmy? That's a lot. That's a lot to take in. Did you hear that, girl? <laughs> Carolyn, yeah, you ready? Did you do it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I couldn't do it while you were talking. I was trying to pay attention. Writing it down. Well, it it definitely you. reminds me of uh, Louise Hay stuff too. So I think it's phenomenal. She would always say, you know, be careful how you speak and what you think, and you know that sort of thing. So it's pretty amazing. It, it is. And Carolyn, all you need to do is to go to MindShiftOnDemand.com, and you can scroll down there, and that is a Mind Shift exercise that I've done in a four-minute audio. So you can opt in to get that, and that's probably okay. the best way to communicate. Okay, thank you. That's very helpful. Carolyn, how are you feeling? Are you feeling good? I'm feeling good. You know, I I uh, I uh, have um, congestive heart failure, and so oh, I have uh, I take uh, warfarin as a blood okay. thinner so that I right. don't have blood clots. And so, just recently, I've uh, been you know my um, if I scratch or rub my skin. Then it gets real red because I guess you know it's the blood is flowing and I have a doctor appointment on Thursday so I'm gonna go and show the man but uh, it itches and so and, I have and, a uh, let's let's we got to work on that I can't let you hang up on that so just face due north you know what to do and just say I have congestive heart failure and see if it pulls you forward. Okay, I have congestive heart failure. Yes, it pulls me forward. Resolve it, delete it, disentangle it. Have her learn all the lessons she needed to from it, and release her from the service to it. I've already went back. Love it. So well, even that's bound to help you. And we're gonna say prayers that Thursday your appointment that they break the code too and find out some better things maybe to prescribe for you and help you with so that we can keep you around a while longer. Okay. Oh, yes. I know I'm going to be around. Uh, I told myself yeah. I would. So, yes. Thank you. All right. Love thank it. you. Thank Thanks you for better. calling in. We appreciate you listening to the show, Carolyn. Thank you. All right. Thank you for taking my call. Have a blessed day. You Bye-bye. too. Thanks. Bye-bye. 919 is our next caller. Hi. What's your name? Where are you calling from? You have a question for Donna? Um, this is a question for you. This is Maria. I had talked to you regarding my eyes to you and Jade last week. So okay. I just want to know what is going on with my eyes because on Monday I got up and my right eye was a little pinkish, but today it is better. I talked to the doctor. doctor said, you know, just put, keep on putting those refresh drops and you should be fine. So I just want to know if you can do any healing or send me some energy for my eyes. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It feels bacterial. I think we said that previously, and uh, I'm, I'm glad to hear it got better from what we've done or the eye drops or a combination of all those things. Right. You want to stand up, face due north. Yes. Just say, even just own it and say, I have an eye infection and see if it pulls you forward. I have an eye infection. Yes. So I'm going to release it, delete and erase it, disentangle it off of her now. Have her learn all the lessons she needed to from this. Release her from the service to it. Allow her to see what's hard to see. Thank you. Pull her straight back when you're done. Yes. 
That's bound to help you, love. Yes, thank you so much. But uh, yeah. quick question again: Are my eyes healed? Well, I mean, we're 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 making headway, certainly with what the doctor said. I'm very Western when it comes to those sorts of things, so I'm glad you're seeing an MD or a DO and getting the prescription yes. and that sort of thing. What we're doing here is supercharged, turbocharged prayer. It can only help you, honey. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I could Thank spend an hour with you on eyes, but you know what I'm saying. So we're going to take a swing at it and see what we can do. Okay? Thank you, dear. Thanks for calling. You got it. Have a great day. You too. Okay. Bye-bye. Thanks, Maria. 727 is our next call. Hi, Sarah. How are you? I know where that area code is. <laughs> Here in Clearwater, local as usual. Um, what was Love the website it. that um, she mentioned? It was MindShift. Well, I'll let you ask. Written down. I got MindShift and then .com. I missed the middle part. Thank you. It is MindShiftOnDemand.com. MindShiftOnDemand.com. Yeah, recently Thank I've been you, doing a lot of um, – Jimmy introduced me to um, Louise Hay probably about, oh, I don't know, about four or five years ago. And then um, recently I've also been um, doing books on audio um, for – um, Shin as well, who's kind of like, I guess she was like the predecessor to Louise Hay. And like, what happens, I, I got what you were saying before um, with like, forgive yourself if you have negative feelings about something. Um, but what happens if you hit like, someone hits that button in you and you kind of hit aggravated or irritated and stuff comes out before you have a chance to stop it. Like, I find I tend to not filter so well on that, and I'm trying to get better on it. So my thoughts that go out and my words that go out are more positive. But sometimes something just hits or occurs that sets me. I can be a little feisty pants sometimes, and it seems like that's oh. the part I feel like I'm struggling in the most. Oh, let me, let me share with you two words that I have discovered recently that are fabulous because, yes, my words come out oftentimes, not, let me rephrase that. My words seldom come out <laughs> that come out before I'm aware of them because I have made it a habit of taking a breath before I speak, taking a pause. And, but when something flashes, <laughs> I call it flash. When that mind shift flashes, what you're talking about, Sarah, it just comes out. All you need to do, rather than get angry at yourself, you know, squirreling up your face and getting angry and mad at yourself and clenching your fist. Does you ever do that? <laughs> yeah. I'm a jaw clencher. I'm a jaw clencher for sure. <laughs> yeah, okay. What I want you to do is when it comes out, all you need to do is just let the breath go, and at the end of that sentence that you would like to pull back, just say, until recently. Just simply put that on the end of the sentence that you just blurted out, and what it does, it's an automatic cancellation of what you just said. Awesome. I love that. Yeah, until awesome. recently, and it, it's like I'm convinced that until recently has to be my next book because it's been profound. Yes. <laughs> I love that. Very That's cool. my biggest takeaway, that. and I won't take up any more of your time. I know you guys are probably got a million calls, but oh, that, that's okay. That's awesome. love. How are you? How are you doing? How can we help you? Anything else? No, just I. You know, I know when I called in last time, it was like trying to release some of the chronic pain I've been dealing with and it's like it releases but then it comes back <laughs> it releases and it comes back um, well now you can add until recently until recently yeah that's right so. that's right because if you continue to say it comes back what's happening is that you are programming your subconscious to allow that pain to come back so what you need to do is you need to counteract that you need to delete it you need to reframe it so when you say that when you when you say words like my my pain comes back frequently. All you need to do is to tack on until recently, and you've canceled okay. that. What awesome. we say, the words we say, set ourselves up for either success or failure. The words we choose are the words that craft our life. Yep. Awesome. Love it. Thank you. Love. Well said. Thank you. Thanks for calling in, honey. Uh, thank you. Have a great rest of your day. 
Thank you. You too. Thank you. Bye bye. Seven two seven is our next caller. Hi, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Yes, hello, Jimmy Mac. It's Kathy. How are you? <laughs> hey, I'm good, Kathy. How are you? You have a question for Donna? I sure do. Is it possible to ask the until or say the until recently? Can we say it first? Or does it have to be at the end to to be more effective? <laughs> That's a good question. That is a good mm -hmm. question, Kathy. If we put that before, then that means mm -hmm. we have the consciousness where we can reframe the sentence rather than putting mm -hmm. the sentence out there. If you are mm -hmm. aware and con and conscious to the point where you can say, well, I could put that before what I'm going to say, that means that it's time to reframe what you're saying, period. Hmm. Okay. Well, I... I'm thinking what the best way to ask this question is. <laughs> uh, and it's okay. It's okay. If a question is causing you discomfort, just say, I'm going to say something that I would rather just put out there and let's look at it rather than owning it. So give yourself permission to say it now. Okay. I'll, I'll just say it. Uh, un until recently, I keep having this pendulum swinging regarding successes and just feeling very stagnant and incredible, incredible money miracles, like so shockingly wonderful. You know, I just step back and say, wow, this this is so amazing. And I, I still feel like I'm sitting here saying, oh my God, uh, all these good things are happening and I, I'm still wondering how on earth I'm going to actually pay for it. And that's a very realistic question. So your concern is is that you are tapping into the scarcity and you want to believe that that you are less than abundant? Well, I, I think I'm incredibly abundant and, and I'm just saying why is it it's so fleeting and then it's like um you know, the fishes and the loaves. It's it's just incredible the the constant cool stuff that happens. I mean, and, and I acknowledge it, I'm grateful for it, and I, I'm just saying why. Why is it a concern ever? Because the magic that has been created is just incredible. So would you prefer mm -hmm. to cancel it or to allow it to continue? Allow it to continue 100%. Then say that. Well, I've done a lot of declaring, and, and it does work, for sure. Okay. I did, so that's what I, that's what I keep questioning. It's like, okay, I, I found this amazing apartment on, on St. Pete Beach for a great price. I made one phone call. That's it. Then I had to find a way to get there to look at it, because at this moment, I don't have a car, which is so ridiculous. So that's what I mean. All these cool things come together, and I'm confident that the money will come, and I'm not saying how will it come, just sitting here saying, okay, I know it will flow. So what you need to do is you need to figure out what the next step is and to make those, those steps forward and towards that and be in that abundance. When we're doing the law of attraction, which is what you're asking about, it has to do mm -hmm. with how we think and how we believe. It has to do with the words that we ask ourselves, the things that mm -hmm. we say to ourselves. Some people say, what you want to do is affirmations. No, what you want to do is affirmations. Uh, mm -hmm. A man by the name of Noah St. John was the one that coined that word, <laughs> affirmation. Because I love him. I read his book. I, I he, say that all the time. Like, why is it so easy to get this wonderful apartment on St. Pete? Okay, and that, so. That day I had it. <laughs> so, Kathy, why is mm -hmm. it so easy for mm -hmm. you to step through any hurdles and to continue on this abundant path. Just reframe your questions. You you have the tools. The key is, I call it a 10-minute-a-day a mind shift master plan. All you mm -hmm. really need to do is to do a mind shifting in a positive way for 10 minutes each day habitually. Set a time. Mm -hmm. 
this is like mm-hmm. yoga on steroids because mm-hmm. when you're upset when Jimmy was talking about you know gambling and it's a case of, mm-hmm. by the way, gambling is, poker is not a gambling game, by the way. It's a game of skill ruled in the court, yeah, by the way. Right, right. <laughs> and it's, it's uh-huh. that when I get upset at, at a table, when I maybe make a mistake, and rather than go on tilt, which is that emotional okay. tilt, uh-huh. I just have to take a breath and do this mind shift quickly rather uh-huh. than say, excuse me, please, I need to get up and go meditate for half an hour. <laughs> Hold that hand for me. It doesn't work that way. So life is uh-huh. not going to wait for you either. It's, it's you know, poker mirrors life because it's not going to wait for you. It's going every single day, every single second, it's clicking away. So what you need to do is to continually frame the words that you say to yourself. When you hear yourself say something like, you know, why don't I have a way to get there? Just say, oops, cancel that. Just until recently, just envision yourself there. If you are familiar with the affirmations and you understand Noah St. John's way of reframing that, use that why question. Anytime that comes up, just take a breath and reframe it with a why. And it will take care of itself. <laughs> it does. I mean, it's it's the bomb. It really is with, with that why. Why is it so easy? Blank, blank, blank. And it, it's great. Um, well, thank you. And I, felt, and I felt an uplift in your energy just speaking with you. Oh, well, thank you very much. Thank you. Very cool. Thanks for coming <laughs> in today, honey. Sure. I wondered if you could just do one sleep thing. The sleep okay. is just, I wake up five times a night, no matter what. Yeah, stand up, I sure will. Cool. I would do it safe yep. and comfortable for you to sleep. Sorry? I say it is safe and comfortable for me to sleep and see if you go forward, back, or in between. Oh, forward. Okay. And so tonight it will be I sleep soundly through the night. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm swaying back and forth. It's just taking out whatever is incongruent with that, and then it'll drop you forward to yes. Mm-hmm. Mm. All right. Well, thank you very, very much. I really appreciate it. Hey, okay. thanks for calling in and listening, honey. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have an awesome day. You 904 too. is our next caller. Hi, 904. Are you there? What's your name? Where are you calling from? Uh, yes, I'm in Atlantic Beach, Florida. And uh, my life has been on stuck since last summer. And I've tried and tried to get unstuck. But here I am, unstuck. I, I, I have very little work, and I actually just don't know what to do about it anymore. Donna? And what's your name? Sue. Sue. Mm-hmm. You, have been, you have been unstuck since last summer. On, 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 no, I am not unstuck. Unstuck. Stuck. You are stuck? stuck? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay. And what is it that you would like to change? Well, I would like to change my work situation because I'm not getting any work. And what do you do? I'm an investigator. And what do you investigate? Uh, Well, generally, criminal defense. uh, I've just added a new feature uh, um, to my asset searches. But I'm still not getting any work. Okay. What what comes to mind to me is that work is work comes to those who puts themselves out there so people know about them. What comes to me clearly is that you need to start being proactive with making contacts. Okay. Uh, make a list. Make a list of twenty of the most important people that you would work with and then make a sub list within those 20 you're going to find three groups out of 20 there's going to be groups in there where people can have you can now have split them out into groups what you're going to need to do is to make that 
personal contact with these people. Okay. You need to be proactive. You're not going to get the work unless people know you're there and what you have to offer. Do you have a website? Yes, I do. Okay. And your website needs needs is your website uh, attractive and friendly and and yes, or it just, is. okay, yeah. good. So you have some place to send them. Do you have a single page that is specifically for people that that need your service? Yes. Okay, good. Well, you have that destination. So now what you need to do is you need to reach out to the people. Do you want to work with people locally? Yes, and nationwide. Okay. So what I have felt in 2018 is very clear is that we important for us when we when we can do this is to create a strong local platform. And that's coming through for me too for you as well now is that that local platform is where you would start and make the list of, of people and just commit yourself to making three calls a day. Okay. Don't overload yourself. Just three calls a day, and you can craft them. You know, uh, reach out to me on Facebook, and I'll be happy to do a, a quick complimentary call with sales because what I'm hearing is it's a sales problem. And it has to do with, with sales, and I'll be happy to okay. talk with you about that. Oh, Jimmy. Okay, great. Thank you. Makes sense. Yeah, it does. Love it. Yeah, you got to hit the ground running, girl. I do a little bit of everything. I will see clients. I do audio MP3s. I do books. I do this radio show. I do live appearances. So whatever your target group is, as far as attorneys go, if it's just solid litigators or PI guys or whatever it is you like to do and get paid on, that's what you really want to concentrate on. And if I had to go door to door and leave a card and meet the office manager or do whatever I got to do to drum up business. I believe in doing things, and, and like uh, Don had mentioned too, I, I pray globally and I act locally. So I would go out of my way to uh, go see these people in person. I would call maybe first and then go see them in person. I would leave stuff behind so that at least you've hit everything then. You've done the phone, you've done in person, you've left behind paper. And you never know. You could be on your way home, and they call you and go, hey, we don't have any of this, but we got some of this. Do you want it? And so you might be shocked at what could happen. Okay? Well, that'd be good. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Well, well we you. appreciate you calling in and listening to the show, honey. Thank you so much. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Thanks, Sue. 216 is our next caller. Hi, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Yes, hi. My name is Patricia, calling from Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, I have concerns uh, with my health and, um, you know, finances and housing, but um, the health, I was diagnosed with uh, stage 1 breast cancer uh, last, I think, November. Um, and, of course, the surgeon and my doctor, primary care, they are basically saying to do the radiation and the lumpectomy. And I don't want to do that. And I basically said I want 90 days to process this info, but also uh, continue and, and really work on me spiritually, energetically. Um, I've started doing sound healing, listening to various sound frequencies on YouTube and addressing the uh, uh, various areas. Uh, I have incorporated eating more organic food, but I can afford. Uh, what else? Um, okay. That's plenty, honey. It's a radio show. So stand up for me. Face to you north. I'll at least right. have you feel the energy. And I would straight up own it and say I have breast cancer stage one, which is a hell of a lot better than three, four, or five, right? Yeah. So... There you go. And that and say I have breast cancer and the way do you get the pull forward for an affirmative yes? I have breast cancer stage one. Oh. It's I'm going backwards. Yeah. That's us deleting it out already. Okay. And I would just do supercharged turbocharged prayer on it and say my breasts are healthy and whole. So you yeah. can go forward, back or in between. Right. I've been affirming that I'm healthy, whole and cured and fully recovered. And how does the test? Are you going forward, back, or in between? Uh, 
I'm going backwards. Yeah, so I'm going to change that to yes for you so you're more congruent, line up with actually belief, think, know, and feeling it. It's going to pull you forward when it shifts. Yes. I'm there you go. I'm pulling for it. Love it. So now I'll believe you when you see it. You can reach out to me at info at jimmymachealing.com. I'll send you all kinds of other information and things you can read, watch, and listen to, honey, okay? All right. Um, can I uh, get some – I've been – Working on finances, I mean, applying to all types of jobs, a couple employment agencies, because uh, I need to move out this spare room that's really toxic. It's another person's apartment, but I need to get out of there like yesterday. Um, okay. But uh, I'm having a, you know, and I'm right, I've written it down, I'm praying over it, and I'm burning candles, I'm chanting, I'm calling up. You know, invoking Goddess Lakshmi to you know help me with guiding me to, with money. You know, and just and I just feel like I'm not moving. Sure. So, email me info at jimmymachealing dot com. I'll send you all kinds of information, some other things that'll help uh, bolster that up, honey. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Thank you. All right. Thanks for your call today. We appreciate it. Mm-hmm. 214 is our next caller. Hi, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hello, hi. <clears throat> hi, this is Prem. Prem, you said? Yeah. Hi, you have a question for Donna? Well, um, I have been feeling really exhausted the last few days. And um, I'm in the, I, I'm a healer and I actually uh, indirectly found myself working on uh, two people at work uh, two days ago, and I found that the modality that I used um, had changed, and it was a lot quicker, and so even I was surprised, but um, I'm just finding that I'm just, I I don't know if I'm taking on energies from anyone because I usually am very good about keeping that out, but I have just been so exhausted. Like, even waking up, I just want to keep sleeping. Okay. Donna? What what comes to mind, Prim, has to do with protecting our energy fields. And uh-huh. you said that you weren't sure if you were picking up energies from other people, and I think it's absolutely sure that you have been because you, you're absorbing them rather than reflecting them. I'd like for you to imagine putting on an egg, put on an egg, and it is a mirrored egg, and it mirrors and reflects outward. It only reflects negative energy, not back to where it was created because that creates bad karma. It creates the, it, it, it reflects the negative energy back out to the universe where it becomes completely neutralized. So what you need to do is to put that egg on. It's around your energy field because as an energy worker, as a healer, you realize that, that we extend past our skin, and you just need to envision that that is around you. It's not the shape of an egg. It's the shape that you are, and it moves with you. It is flexible. It is very strong. It can be broken by by us being upset. We can like like if you're trying to get through a piece of cellophane or you know how hard it is uh-huh. to get through that. Well, you know, you can do that uh-huh. if you get angry or anxious. But what I'm here feeling is that you need to put your energetic egg on, put put on your egg, your protective shield. It reflects out negative. It allows positive to come through and to you. And now I'm also feeling that you do need to take some self care that you need to focus on that breathing and using hang on let's use let's use the diamond cyclone just take a moment right now put your feet flat on the floor set up mm-hmm. in your chair close your eyes i'd like for you to breathe in very slowly and as it comes in it's going to come in this swirling energy and it is a diamond cyclone that's going to actually it's going to trim out and suck out any of that negative that you've been holding on to. Just go ahead and it goes down into all the way into the bottom of the chakras. Just breathe in. Hold it. Exhale. It comes back out and 
comes out and it brings out the stuff. Now breathe in one more time. It's going to bring in white light, like a cyclone down into your body, the white light. And exhale. And Jimmy, you can do some of your tilting and your egg, your liquid egg will help her too. Yeah, liquid fish stuff, absolutely. So, um, yeah, what comes to you is you're definitely picking up on other people's stuff. My acupuncturist friend, though, would say, you know, at the height of winter, it's almost like we need to hibernate. So if you need to eat a bowl of chicken noodles so you can watch back to back movies, it's okay. Give yourself permission to do that, okay? But go ahead and stand up right now. It feels like you have a touch of overwhelm to And if you stand up and face to north and okay. I feel overwhelmed, it's going to pull you straight forward. I'm overwhelmed. I'm kind of pulling back. Back. Okay, so it's gone now, so that's great. So I was in um, I am. I feel tired or wiped out. Feel tired and wiped out. Yeah. Fully. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to release that to know for you. I've learned all the lessons. I'm going to release you from the service to it. I'll feel a little back when that leaves. I'm just going to release, release, release. We're going to make it safe and comfortable for you to let all that go. Have you learned all the lessons you need to be from it? Pull her straight back when you're done. Thank you. Wow, yeah. <laughs> there you go. I, feel I love better. it. Well, laughter's good. Glad that you do love. Yeah, reach out yeah. to us, info at jimmymachealing dot com. We'll be glad to help you in any way we can. And yeah, uh thank you. yeah. Yeah, just realize that it is winter and so go at an even pace as opposed to trying to wear yourself out, right? My mother yeah. would say you're burning the candle at both ends is what it feels like. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, it does, and I've been um, okay. taking magnesium as well to help, so. Yeah, well, yeah. that's a calming thing. Keep that in mind. You don't want to be too calmed down. I would do that in the evening <laughs> for sleep. When our previous caller had trouble sleeping, uh, magnesium is uh, great for uh, taking before you go to bed. Okay. 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 Well, thank awesome. you. Thank you both. Thank you for calling. Yeah. Thank you. All the best. All the best. Folks, we've got a lot of people on the line right now. You're going to want to press one if you want to raise your hand. You have a question for Donna or myself. Donna, I loved seeing the movie with Jessica Chastain. It was uh, Molly's Game, and it was all about poker being a game of skill. So touch on that for us a little bit and tell us about that. You know, there's even readers that use uh, a plain deck of uh, playing cards, and they give readings with it. So I find that fascinating, too. Well, interestingly enough, when I was when I was studying numerology close to 30 years ago, I was I spent one year focusing on numerology. That was that was what I did. I I would spend at least three hours a day studying numerology. That was what I did in those days. Is that I would want to spend one year studying something, and that the the numerology I rarely speak of it, but it has been all around me and numbers speak to me and I was actually working with some poker hands a few years ago and I had the the deck up and I was looking at the cards and all of a sudden I realized that those four suits are an icon or icons of Carl Jung's four quadrants of behavior that is the basis of our psychology and it is astonishing how easy it is to use the the cards to read with because they're all interrelated. Mm. And the interesting thing about poker is that I say, and you'll find that on biggirlpoker.com, which is the site where I talk about poker, the pinned um, email, the the pinned email, What's the word? The post, thank you. The pinned post is the crossroads of poker and transformation because you'll hear me say, poker saved my life. You know, people go, what? It saved my life because when I first learned to play poker in my late 40s, 
I discovered that I was I was a real estate broker. I had a contract with the Veterans of, uh, the Department of Veterans Affairs as a management broker for five counties in Southwest Florida. And I was constantly upset and worried about what was happening, what had been happened yesterday. What happened yesterday, I was under stress, working 17 hours a day, seven days mm-hmm. a week. And I found that the Seminole Indians put the card tables in their bingo halls in those days. And I'm sitting at the table asking my husband to teach me how to play, and he did. And so I'm sitting at the table, been there only maybe a few times, and I'm worried about what's happening at work and I had these cards in front of me and I had this this universal head slap when all of a sudden I realized the only thing I had control over was how to play the hand that I was in, how to play the cards life dealt me right there. The past cards were gone, the future cards were not here yet and it was that epiphany, that moment where I realized that it was the now. The only thing I had control over is this moment in time. Hmm. Very cool. So do you do some of your work as far as the questioning and whatnot when you're in the middle of even playing games of skill, games of chance? Do I do questioning myself? I use kinesiology all the time. Okay. When you're playing, I'm saying. Yeah, muscle. I do muscle testing. Oftentimes I do muscle testing very quietly where no one can actually see I'm doing muscle testing. And it's actually to help balance me. It's balancing me more than determining whether that person is playing, how they're playing. What I'm doing is muscle testing me to find out how calm and how centered I am. And I'm doing the that sort of work on myself, being having my inner coach do that work so that I can be at the place of neutrality where I can make the best decisions. Love it. No, that's really cool. That's very interesting. So I wondered, you know, if you did your questioning part, like, you know, uh, some people even in access would say, what else is possible if you're sitting there waiting for the next card? Oh, thank you. I actually have three questions, three questions that I use. And they're the questions, three questions that I use. And it's most of the, these actually evolved from working with my poker coaching clients because they'd come to me, they'd call in between, uh, on a break when they were in this huge tournament, and they'd start ranting about what was going wrong, and I said, whoa, halt. The first question is, what did you do? What did I do correctly? That has to be the first question. What did I do correctly? That shifts the energy. Regardless of what's happened, it shifts the energy to the positive. What did I do correctly? Number two, rather than say, how did I screw up? You say, what might, you ask, what might I have done differently? Mm. What might I have done differently gives you forgiveness and allows you to look at your mistakes in a way that is productive. And then the third question is, what do I intend to do now to be more effective? So Mm. it encompasses forgiveness, positivity, and intention within these three questions. Very cool. I love that. Love that. Thank you. Yeah, well said. Awesome. Well, tell folks uh, how to get a hold of you, honey. We'll wind down the show today, but I sure appreciate you being on. It's been a whirlwind of callers, and I always find it very interesting and fascinating. And, you know, I would also say, um, what would you do for all the folks that are listening now for Beyond Skill, you know, Game of Skill? Oh, would you tell folks that want to know about the lottery? That would be 90% of everybody on hold right now. What about lottery? What about, you know, uh, computer pick versus playing the winning numbers all the time of their kids' birthdays or whatever? Just touch on that for a minute. Entertain us at least. (laughs) Well, uh, as far as the lottery, uh, I I have no clue about that. Uh, and uh, I have no clue about that, and uh, I might as well just be upfront about it. <laughs> and okay. people say that if I'm going to suggest anything in relationship to talking about gambling, you know, stay away from the the blackjack, only go to the poker. If you're going to do any into a card room, into a casino, head for the poker room because poker is the place where you compete against other people. Poker certainly is a card is a card 
a game played by people, but it's most importantly a people game played with cards. So that's where you want to go because what happens is poker mirrors life. You can discover at the poker table things that are giving you challenge at in your life, and you can actually have this safe universe. We can actually work through them. It's been really therapeutic for people that I've worked with, everything from people that are dealing with anxiety and and depression and self-confidence issues. It has to do with how to actually have something that's quantifiable, some way to actually determine whether what you're doing is correct. So poker has become a way to do that, um, to deal with life skills, and it, that, that poker mirrors life concept. So people can reach me um, on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash big girl poker. If you want to email me, it's Donna at big girl poker dot com and please go and grab my book mind shift on demand and you can go to that site mind shift on demand dot com and uh, scroll down and you can opt in for a four minute mind shift exercise called hmm isn't that interesting my signature mind shift exercise and grab the book and i'm putting together a bonus package i'm going to be doing a live webinar in over the next few weeks for people that are uh, have grabbed the book it's on Kindle and print and there's a link in there that takes you to uh, where you can go opt in and I'll be doing a live call where we'll be actually doing it by way of Zoom where you we look at each other in the face so I'm really excited Love about it. that No it sounds like fun honey thank you so much for being on the show today we sure appreciate your energy and sharing with others and, uh, you know, keeping it upbeat. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much for being on the show. Well, thank you, Jimmy. Tell me what has been the most, the biggest takeaway for you today from what I've said. Oh, I, I think definitely the word tracks and doing the word tracks of, you know, uh, questioning how this could be different or differently, um, you know, how I might say it even differently or, you know, the, as, you know, it used to be this way, that kind of thing. So the initial piece for me is it's, it's helpful. You know. Thank you. Yeah, I, you're welcome. I love being Thank on you. here. Thank you. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you. Thanks for playing. We appreciate it. Folks, that's our show for today. Reach out anytime. Info at jimmymachealing.com. I want to thank everybody for listening and also calling in with questions. And we'll be here next Tuesday with Reverend Debbie Dean Spear to communicate with those that are in heaven. So stay tuned for that one. It's always a super popular show as well. So I want to wish you the rest of your life to be the best of your life and remember to make progress every day. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.